Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Concludes every one of our prayers from the sign of the cross to the Hail Mary and the Our Father to any prayer that we ever pray. We conclude it with the Aramaic word, Amen. It is a word and one of the few words in sacred scripture that remains untranslated. Amen. It means so be it. Let it be as I have said. But in all of our translations of sacred scripture, we maintain that word in its original Aramaic because it best conveys its meaning in its original language. And so while we conclude the Hail Mary, for example, with Amen, we entrust this prayer with childlike confidence to God that if it be his will, he will answer it. We entrust our prayer to him and we give an affirmation that we believe that this Prayer will be answered according to God's mercy, his will, and his providence for us. Amen. Concludes our prayers. But my dear friends of Christ, have you ever noticed, for example, in the Gospel of John, Jesus singularly begins his statements and his most authoritative statements with the words, Amen, amen. Generally, if not absolutely, in sacred scripture, amen is used at the conclusion of a statement or of a prayer. With Jesus, however, there is an exception. And multiple times throughout the Gospel of John, he begins his most authoritative statements with a double amen. And by so doing, he indicates that he is the author of, of all that is. And as God, he lets us know of his divinity. And he lets us know that his statement is not to be concluded by anyone else because he is the one who starts it and begins it. And it's the beginning and the end of all that is. Amen, amen. He can declare, and he alone can declare. For example, one of Jesus' most authoritative statements is in John 6, verse 53. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat to the flesh of the Son of Man and drink of his blood, you will not have life within you. No one else in the history of the world or in the history of salvation could ever make such a claim. No one could ever say amen, amen with such an incredible powerful statement than Jesus Christ because for him and for him alone it is true amen amen I say to you saints in the making let us you and me listen especially to Jesus' statements of amen amen so that you and I might make space for grace 